you sometimes wondered why you do not see frogs and, and toads around, particularly when the ponds and pools are dry? Have you wondered where they, they go to? Why do you hear so many sounds from the frogs and toads shortly after the rains? These questions will be answered in today's lecture. What happens is that these organisms, the frogs and the toads, actually estivate. They undergo what is called estivation. The frogs and toads undergo estivation. What happens is that these organisms are amphibians and they cannot survive without water. So when the ponds and the pools dry off, though the exceptions are uh, these tree frogs, the tree frogs can remain on trees anyway, but the toads and the frogs would have to estivate during the dry season because they require water for respiration and for other activities. So when the ponds dry off, these organisms eventually burrow into the soil and they remain dormant, they remain inactive inside the soil. That uh, that's, uh, phenomenon is called estivation. They shut down their metabolic activities and remain inside the soil. They become inactive within the soil until when uh, precipitation occurs, when it rains. So that's basically what happens. That's the reason why you don't see these organisms around when uh, it is dry, particularly during the dry season. Though the toads can survive longer periods of drought than the frogs, the frogs would have to estivate immediately the ponds start drying off. But some toads can still be seen, particularly during the rainy season. I believe you must have learned something about this, the estivation of frogs. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will learn more from me. Thanks.